Hi, I'm GNT and today we are going to talk about shadow boxing. The greatest thing about this method of training is that you need just yourself and some space. In terms of movement, it's one of the best ways of training by yourself as equipment you strike like a bob or bag limits your movement due to it being mainly fixed in one position. The disadvantage of shadow boxing can be that you have to be able to visualize an opponent moving, attacking, defending, etc. So imagination is key. Some people struggle with that to begin with, but with practice and development in all other areas over time, you will keep improving and reap the rewards from shadow boxing. It is also a great way to warm up, it improves your cardio and your breath control. Some will say a partner is a much better choice for your development as a whole because you learn to adapt with them, which is definitely true. But you need to have one arraigned and you really need to develop your skills to a comfortable stage to do that. Therefore, shadow boxing should be an integral part of our training because we can always work on something we want to develop before attempting it on an opponent. If you need more guidance with footwork, then click the video or the link in the YouTube description. Also, there are loads of tutorials on my channel, so if you want to increase your range of techniques when you train, then check them out. Okay, so now you know that, you want to be training it specifically for what you are practicing for. If it's martial arts or sport orientated, you want to be sticking to the rules and possibly the amount of time and rounds it will be. For example, in MMA, among other rules, you can't headbutt, eye gouge, and kick to the groin. So you wouldn't train those movements, and for rounds, you would want to eventually hit three or more for five minutes apiece. If it's for self-defense, then there are no rules. So you can decide what you want to include and the amount of rounds and times you want to do. I train for various different types in different sessions to maintain them all. What will you be training for? Comment below as it will be very interesting to read and see what you're all getting up to. In this video today, I'm shadow boxing for self-defense and I usually do two five minute rounds to warm up ready for other things I want to go through. I stick to mainly stand up being offensive and defensive, but also defend against takedowns and shoot for the legs every now and then to keep me mindful of the situation I might be in. Would probably look a bit crazy if I included groundwork being on bottom and rolling a rein to different directions and locks by myself too. My main advice is to work on what you can do and what will benefit you the most when training this method. Like I said earlier, I train mainly stand up when I shadow box, but I train my groundwork with a partner instead as locks, takedowns and so on are more difficult and less realistic without one. When you are shadow boxing, try to stay in balance as when you are against an opponent, you don't want to lose it when you are moving or striking because you will be vulnerable. The disadvantage of striking is that you have to imagine a spot to strike, so it's not testing your accuracy, power and so on efficiently. At the same time, you are not striking anything. So if you are overexerting yourself, there is a risk of damaging your joints and you don't learn to react off of a hit or condition what you are striking with. So don't overexert yourself and make sure you still work on hitting something with your techniques if they are ready to do so. A common mistake is to look down when shadow boxing because you are thinking of what to do, but you don't want to train this bad habit as you will do the same when an opponent is in front of you. Instead, keep looking forwards. I usually look in line with where my opponent's chest would be whilst keeping my chin down. To improve, I recommend watching yourself in the mirror as you can see your weaknesses and correct your form. The problem with this can be staying forwards to see or always looking towards the mirror even when you shouldn't be. For this reason, and one of the best pieces of advice I can give you, I recommend you record yourself instead so you can watch it back later, analyse yourself and see where you can improve. The common thing I find when teaching shadow boxing is that people feel silly when first doing it, but it's a great way to warm up and improve your skills. So if people are watching, don't be shy, get on with it, get in your zone, have fun and improve. Okay, so that's my thoughts and tips on shadow boxing for you. Try when practicing not to lose against your opponent. I think you might be able to win this one. If you're struggling to think of combinations, then click these videos, copy the ones that feel natural, and hopefully it will help you create your own as well. Don't forget to subscribe, like, or follow me on any of these. Thank you for your support, and good luck with your training.